hello guys welcome back to this video tutorial on QBasic today in this video I'll be looking at the use of swap statement as well as the use of different symbols with print statement and how those symbols affect the output so let's begin let me write a very simple program this time for using for loop we haven't covered this yet we'll be looking at this one in the coming videos for next is a looping statement used to do or perform some tasks for repeated times so i'm gonna print i this time simply and let me end the program and let's see what the output will be like nothing is done just we have run the loop from 1 to 5 and we have printed the value so it gives the output 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the output is displayed line by line while if you use some symbols like semicolon at the end and display the value you'll see that the values are being displayed side by side similarly there is another symbol that is comma if you use comma you'll notice that the output is being displayed zone wise means a lot of space is being placed between two values so you must understand what these symbols are there is semicolon that displays side by side leaving just one space there is this comma that leaves about 14 spaces and there is no symbol at the end which displays the output line by line ok so this is something you shall understand very well now let me use let statement let me remind you that let statement is used to initialize some values to the variables we have already discussed it before in the first tutorial so here a is a variable that is being initialized with a value of 5 and similarly b is a variable being initialized with a value of 10 here now i'll be discussing the swipe statement here so first let's simply view what a and b is gonna print okay it's 5 and 10 we haven't swiped it so let me do this one before swiping the values are this okay. now if we swipe these two values okay swipe is used for exchanging the values of the variables now the value of p will be placed in a and the value of a will be placed in b now you will notice that after swiping if you print the values of a and b you will see that the values have exchanged see as you can notice that before swiping the values are 5 and 10 while after swiping the values are 10 and 5 so swipe statement is used to interchange the values of two constants of the same data type the data type has to be same you cannot action the values with different data types between the variables so you need to note that point as well so this is all for today we have discussed different symbols used with print statement as well as swipe statement we will be discussing more in the coming future thank you for watching please do like and subscribe